It's about time someone taught you respect, little man. Ha! <laughs> someone like you? I know you all keep tabs on me. Yeah. You've been straying. You don't even use his name no more. Well, that's why I'm still breathing, brother. Gambit is a chance at salvation. Take it. You were always so afraid Shin would get you. Sorry, old friend. Behind you. Let's see what we've got. Welcome back. I'm Calvin, AKA Statue Fanatic here with another unboxing of a Destiny statue. This is of the Drifter. This is another 10 inch replica statue of a character that showed up about three years ago in Destiny. Showed up under the uh, cover of night, if you will. He's a very shady character. Didn't know if he was good or evil. Didn't know he was if he was on the Guardian side or not on the Guardian side. Didn't know if he was a Guardian himself at one point. Um, we've learned a little bit more about him since the game over the last couple of years. We've learned his name and a few other things about him and that he's a light bearer. Uh, the most significant thing about him was that when he showed up, so did the Gambit showed up. Another very popular uh, activity in Destiny. And I will leave a link in the description below to one of the most knowledgeable people in the Destiny community. Goes by, my name is Bife. He does a really good job explaining who this character is. But my job is to talk about the statue. So we're gonna get this guy unboxed. I've been turning it around so you can kind of see. We don't need to do any of that anymore. On the top of it, it has the Gambit symbol. So let's get this out of the package and see what it looks like. And what I'm going to do is the same thing I've done with the last two statues. I'm not going to talk a whole lot. I'm going to let the uh, camera do the talking here with this particular guy and turn him around here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm um, going to zoom in a little bit on the portrait right here and see what that looks like. I think this does a really good job of capturing the likeness of, of this guy. And as you see, when we go down, he has the necklace of the gambit symbol on his necklace. And then over here, what he's holding in his hand here is that coin that he flips when you're in the gambit to determine who or what enemies you will be fighting. Hi, bring a sword. Anyway, and then here you see in his midsection, looks pretty cool. He has a, a weapon holstered or tucked away in his midsection there. A lot of detailing there. And of course, like with all of the PVC statues that I've done from this series, they're not perfect in terms of paint and everything. These are about $70 statues. I think they're great for people who are fans of Destiny. Uh, something really cool to add to your collection. Doesn't break the bank, but yeah, a really good representation. And looks like um, this, what he's standing on when you go down there is something from the ship, uh, from his ship it looks like, uh, when he's standing there getting prepared for, getting you prepared for the gambit. I'll go back up there again, you can see. What I do like about these is that there are a lot of detail in these statues. Lots and lots of details, various layers. Uh, let's go up to the profile here, see what that looks like. His beard and everything, how do they do there? That looks really cool, looked like they did a pretty decent job. You can even see the scar on his face there. Wow, that's really good, I think. Um, you see some design there on his collar. Then I'm gonna go down here, looking at the side there. Yeah, not too bad. We also know this guy used to um, own a bar, <laughs> Fell Winters. 
Peak, I think it was, is where he owned the bar. You Destiny fans know what that is. Looking here at the back, uh, still not too bad. Quite a bit of sculpting and detail in this. And again, I don't expect perfection when it comes to paint, but um, I think it's a pretty decent job. And again, I'm really, really impressed with how well I think they've represented the actual character. And then on his profile here, that scarring on his face looks pretty cool. Let's see if there's any other detail. Let's take a look at his gauntlets. Not too bad. And what else we got here? Uh, yeah, I'm looking at those gauntlets. Well, that is about it when it comes to uh, this statue. Not a really long review, but I thought it was really cool and a really, really, really great representation of this character from the game, another beloved character in Destiny. I still don't understand why of all the characters they could have taken out in Destiny, they decided to take out Cade. And stay tuned because I actually have a level 52 resin statue of Cade 6 that I wanna share with you guys. It's a really, really cool piece. Remember my friends to always collect what you like and not the hype. Until next time, peace. Thank you.